Because their next home game will be in Cardiff against Glasgow. And it's the Dragons that get us underway on the left boot of Sam Davis. And Rio Dyer does exceptionally well to get a left hand to that one. And they have the ball. Bertrand, the Argentine international. He's uh, signed again as Tiprick is strong over the ball there. Contest is good. Yeah, no problem there. That's a contest. Good contest, oh, yeah. says the referee. First and the first penalty goes to the Ospreys. And Sean Holly and uh, Shane Williams, you've made your way up to the gantry. Way nine. And they've won that set piece. Carter with the take. Bertrandou, first receiver. Stop. Cross field kick. Oh, Jonah Holmes is out there. I was going to say, he's a powerful unit. Is he going to cross for the first score? He's going to go under the sticks. This man has hit some serious form. And he crosses for the first try of this derby. How's his right boot working today? He's turned. Picks his tee up. Usually a good sign. The Ospreys are on the board at Rodney Parade. It's the Dragon 7. The Ospreys 3, almost 12 minutes gone. It'll be a long Use present. This will be a box kick from Bertrand. Up she goes. Two stop, two back. Sam Davis underneath it. Ollie Griffiths collects. Yeah. Baker. The former Osprey, of course. Bateman. Uh, penalty here this they're maybe lifting the man Time in the off. in the ruck and I think that Frank Murphy will have a look at this that's all I saw was Justin Tipperick's blue head guard so I listen to the com communication it's Taylor Davis the hooker is it oh it's Adam Wainwright and Taylor Davis they put him down quite gently yeah but okay. there's two they the cannot tip him over the horizontal. Tip the horizontal and you didn't you didn't put him on the ground safely it's a yellow card I yes. thought he did go down quite safely. Yeah. So so did I. To the back, throw it to the back. <laughs> throw it to the back, off the top. Small, light out over in the five. The Ospreys target was Justin Tipperick once again. Advantage, changing bind. Changing bind, Number Leon three. Brown done. For changing Stay his on bind. And on trundle the Ospreys. Where is the ball? That's the question. Stay I think more. Sam Parry has it. Now Ruben Morgan Williams looking for a gap. Good pressure. Oh, Back is that over. flat? If it is, there we cross. Is yeah. under the sticks. Will Frank Murphy have another look at it? Will there be a captain's challenge? Three, Let's wait and see. Let's have a look. This, will, this is not you a know, bad angle to see it because... There's nothing clear and obvious there to say that's gone forward. So Ruben Morgan Williams is, is travelling back, back, isn't he? You know? on the small it, here now. it does look worse because Dan, Dan Baker makes a huge tackle on Ruben Morgan Williams, but Sorry, the line is up. there. Season. However, the Dragons defended it very well. Great attacking opportunity for the Ospreys. And they get the early drive on from this line out. That's gone to the floor. Tipbrick picks. A couple of metres out from the Dragons line are the Ospreys. Reorganised. Offside is Dan Baker. It's advantage, a penalty advantage for the Ospreys. Bradley Davis goes. The ball is there. Slows down. A couple of latches on, and I think that is Morgan Morris, I think, at the bottom of that pile, aided by Justin Tiprick. So far. Third. He's looking at it. I don't know why he's looking so long at it, because it's, uh, it's over. Another three points for the Ospreys. Bind. And it's round three, Guinness Pro 14, Rainbow Set. Cup clash. It's a Welsh derby, the Dragons against the Ospreys. Early, not stable, Ospreys pushing forward. And the Dragons get something at scrum low, time. It's a rarity, it's a free kick. Dan Baker off on a trundle. Oh, good hands from Bertrano. Rio Dyer gets the ball in the end. Bertrano did exceptionally well to get rid of that. Ben Carter, again carrying, he's carried tremendously. One line-up ball, he's done everything. Leon Brown with a carry. Leave Good tackle now. on him. Dragon's possession. Baker again. Oh, point. Finding spaces like they have done in previous weeks are the Dragons. The Osprey's maintaining the defensive shape. Josh Lewis. And now you know when is Jonah Holmes in again. Oh, it's always a carbon copy. I said they're not finding spaces, but they found it there. Just a little bust from Josh Lewis.
Luke Price's perfect record this afternoon continues. And the Ospreys extend their lead, a perfect start. And the traffic there, is that a substitute on? Is that Chris Coleman on wearing 18? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. That means that Leon Brown has left. He saw him limping after that clash with his knee. But Jack Dixon, can he free his right hand? No, he's looking for Rio Dyer. Here comes Ben Carter again on a trundle. Oh, and has he lost it? He has. But this is going to be some trouble. High tackle, I think. Yellow card, cynical on the ground, playing the ball. Ah. Bertrand taking it quickly. Frank Murphy, an ex-scrum half himself. He has to leave the pitch. I've just yellow card and we'll wait. We will wait. We will wait. Yeah, yeah Sam Parry made the tackle and then on obviously the played the ball Mark whilst he's on night. the floor. Frank Murphy right there. Mark is here. Lovely carry from Jack Dixon. Forceful down the short side. And Wainwright has tapped and gone. Well, hanging about. They want tempo in their game. A beaker. He's assisted this time. Has he got it down? Yes, he has. Initially, similar the try Look. to the Ospreys. Morgan oh, Morris in the over. first half. Come similar on. position. Well, the try is standing. A lot of complaints from the Ospreys, but no uh, captain's challenge <laughs> yeah. as yet. That's the Dragons 21, the Ospreys 23. Now it was 14 points to 20 at half time as Luke Price gets us underway again. Long may this continue. Tries, advantage, penalties, on. all the action at Rodney advantage. Parade. It's an advantage as Ruben Morgan Williams spots some space. He needs some support. Or oh, does he? I don't think he does. Oh, this will be a chat between referee Frank Murphy and Alan Evans, the assistant referee. Good to me, just touch. We award a try. There we have it, another oh. try. It's taken play into the Dragons' half. Sam Parry with the target, and it's Alan Wynne Jones takes his first line out on their own throw, that is. Williams into Sam Davis. Quick ball again. Hawkins on. Lovely little off flow to Morgan Morris. Try scorer for the Ospreys in the first half. Tiprick delayed ball. Ollie Griffiths competes. Possession again. Dan Evans breaks the first tackle. Will he go all the way? He doesn't need any support, does he? Rio Dyer gets to him. But too little, too late. The Ospreys fullback goes over for their fourth score. It's a bonus point try. And that came from, from nothing. Please come back to me in five minutes. I will, <laughs> I will, don't you worry. Jack Dixon carries Jonah Holmes through the tackle again. Busting through for fun and an offload. Lovely pass from Jarvis to Rio Dyer. We want a big finish at Rodney Parade. And you know what? I think we're going to have one. Oh, bravery Bravo. from the Dragons. Took the penalty quickly, did Sam Davis. That sums it up, though, doesn't it? It does sum up the Dragons. They play some lovely rugby, but sometimes discipline lets them down. Breakdown here has been a concern, and the Ospreys have just capitalised on that. Yeah, the Ospreys have had a, a dominant scrum as well. Winning penalties. Winning the territorial pattern. And I think this is going to be a try on debut for Max Nagy. Had a little bit of a, a chance, had a stiff arm, broke the tackle. What a way to celebrate your first appearance. And the answer is yes, the flags are up, the final whistle goes at Rodney Parade. It's a victory, a bonus point victory for the Ospreys against the Dragons. Hugely entertaining affair.